This video is a supplement to the residential garage door installation video. It covers installation of easy set torsion springs. Working with springs can be dangerous. Make sure you follow all safety warnings in the manual and on this video and read the safety information completely before proceeding with the installation of springs. Do not attempt to install them yourself unless you have the right tools, reasonable mechanical aptitude or experience, and you follow these instructions very carefully. Use this video only if you are installing the Easy Set torsion springs with your garage door. If you are missing any spring hardware, please call the toll-free consumer services number found on the front cover of the manual. Take a moment to lay out the tools and hardware that you will need. For your tools, you will need a variable speed and reversible 3 8 inch medium duty power drill, a 3 8 inch open end wrench, a 3 16 inch hex head wrench, a 1 8 inch drill bit and the included 1 quarter inch insert bit. The hardware for your installation will vary depending on the size and type of your garage door. In this video, we will be installing two easy set torsion springs on a two car garage door. See your manual for the hardware needed for your particular configuration. For this installation, we will need two winding units, two easy set upper mounting brackets, two drums, one full length torsion tube, one center support, one left side torsion spring, one right side torsion spring, a hardware bag consisting of two one quarter inch by one inch lag screws, four five sixteenths inch by one and five eighths inch lag screws, two number fourteen by five eighths inch sheet metal screws, four three eighths inch 16 by 3 quarter inch carriage bolts, 4 3 8 inch by 16 flange nuts, and two tube retainers. Now that we have everything we need and identified, start by separating the brackets by simply bending the joined brackets back and forth until they separate. Then attach the easy set upper mounting bracket to the flag bracket and the horizontal angle with a 3 8 inch 16 by 3 quarter inch carriage bolt and a 3 8 inch flange nut. Be sure to orient the carriage bolt and flange nut as shown here. Place the bracket up against the jam and the flag bracket. Note that if your door is 2 inches thick, the carriage bolt should be fastened through the slot in the flag bracket farthest from the jam. If your door is 1 and 3 8 inch thick, the carriage bolt should be fastened in the slot closest to the jam. Do this for both the left and right sides. If you have double track or low headroom, see your installation or supplemental manual for installation instructions. Next, we will secure the easy set brackets to the jam. To avoid splitting the wood in the next steps, drill 3 16 inch pilot holes where the 5 16 inch lag screws will be used. Using two 5 16 inch by 1 and 5 8 inch lag screws, secure the bracket to the jam. Use the slots closest to the flag bracket if possible. Make sure the carriage bolts are tight and the bracket is seated securely against the jam and the flag bracket as these brackets will be under strong spring tension. Do this again for the other side of the door. Next, lay the springs flat on the floor and measure the length of each spring as shown here. Record these measurements as you will need this information later. Note that on this configuration the green spring will be installed on the left and the orange spring on the right. Now slide the spring onto the torsion tube as shown here. You may need to work with the alignment to get the tube to pass through the spring spacer inside the spring. Then do the same for the right spring. Insert the spring plug into the winding unit. Ensure that the spring plug and the winding unit have the same color code before snapping them together. Line up both ears on the spring plug with the two slots in the winding unit and push them together as shown here. Make sure that both ears of the spring plug are fully intact and engaged into the winding unit slots before proceeding. Also, Check that the drums are oriented so that the slots are facing away from the winding unit or units and the end bearing support, as shown here. The drums are designated as left side and right side by the letters L and R respectively, found here, 
near the cable slot. Next, carefully lift up the torsion tube and components and place the ends of the tube in the cradle of each bracket. Lift the tube away from the brackets to slide the drum in between the bracket legs and engage the winding unit rails in the bracket slot. Now, push the winding unit rails into the bracket until the unit bottoms out. Now, go to the other side and repeat the procedure for installing the winding unit in the bracket. Next, center the tube as equally as possible between the brackets so that an equal amount of the tube is extending from each side. The following procedures are for doors over 10 feet. If you have a smaller door, see your manual for installation instructions. Next, snap the center support onto the center of the torsion tube. Then position the center support to make sure that the tube is straight and level. Add shims behind the center support if necessary to make the tube straight. Mark the position of the center support, then drill 1 8 inch pilot holes where the lag screws are to be attached. Then fasten the support with two 1 quarter inch by 1 inch lag screws to the header above the center of the door. The lag screws should be located at opposite corners of the center support as shown here. Now we're ready to set the springs. To start, you will need your drill and the 1 quarter inch insert bit included with your door. You can also use a 7 16 inch socket. Set the drill to forward, which is clockwise as you point the drill away from you. If the stripe on each spring is not facing toward you as shown here, engage the drill with the 1 quarter inch insert bit or the 7 16 inch socket into the drive shaft of the winding unit to rotate the spring until the stripe is facing you. Now we need to set the gap in the spring. Holding the tube in place, compress the left side spring completely against the winding unit and then release the spring. Measure and adjust the length of the spring and match the length you recorded earlier. Be sure not to stretch the springs before tightening the set screws. Stretching the springs could cause the loss of spring tension and possibly allow the door to fall. Now, tighten both set screws in the set cone to the torsion tube. Use a 3 8 inch wrench if the springs are supplied with square head set screws, or a 3 16 inch hex wrench if supplied with internal set screws. Be aware that when resistance is encountered while tightening the set screw, the screw has made contact with the tube. Set screws should be turned from 3 quarter to 1 full turn after they have made contact. Additional turns may damage the tube. Repeat the last procedure for the other spring. In this next step, be careful not to shift the tube left or right, as this will disturb the gap set in the spring or springs. Start with the left side. Pull the lift cable up from the safety bottom bracket, behind the rollers, and inside of the jam brackets. Next, insert the cable lug into the drum slot. Note, make sure that both set screws are flush or below the surface of the cable grooves before securing the drum. Take up the cable slack by turning the drum by hand. Make sure the cable is pulled tightly into the drum grooves and that the drum is against the bearing in the winding unit. Then tighten the one accessible set screw in the drum using a 3 16 inch hex wrench. Set screws should be turned from 3 quarter to one full turn after they have made contact with the tube. Only one of the two set screws need to be tightened at this time. The remaining set screw will be tightened at the end of the installation when the door can be raised or lowered. While maintaining cable tension, use the drill, turning clockwise, to wind the spring one or two turns. The spring tension will maintain the proper cable tension when you let go. Go to the right side and repeat the last procedure to secure the right side drum. Next, you will install the tube retainer. Attach the tube retainers to the Easy Set Torsion Spring System brackets on both sides with a 3 8 inch by 3 quarter inch carriage bolt and a 3 8 inch flange nut. You are now ready to tension the spring or springs. To avoid personal injury during this process, 
do not make contact with any part of the EasySet torsion spring system. Next, we need to adjust the tension of the springs to the specified number of wounds found in the spring winding table of your assembly manual. To do this, engage the drill with the 1 quarter inch insert bit or the 7 16 socket into the drive shaft of the winding unit to wind the spring. When you start to wind, the line drawn earlier on the spring starts to wrap around, creating a striping effect. Each stripe represents one full turn of the spring. Count the stripes to determine the number of winds. During winding, operate the drill at half speed until the required number of winds is reached. If additional winding is required, or the system has to be completely unwound, wait at least five minutes between consecutive winds or unwinds. If for any reason the unit begins to resist winding, stop winding at once and wait at least five more minutes before continuing. Only adjust the number of spring winds when the door is completely closed. Failure to follow these instructions may result in damage to the unit, the rapid release of spring energy, or personal injury. Go to the left side and wind that spring to the specified number of winds. Now you're ready to check the tension. To do this, you will manually operate the door, but before you do, ensure that the door will clear the brackets and the winding unit or units. Failure to check this could result in damage and injury. If the tracks are not correctly aligned or the back hangers are not strong enough, the door may fall. Make sure that if you have an automatic door opener that it is disconnected. Then proceed slowly and carefully to lift the door by hand. If the door lifts by itself or lifts too easily, reduce the number of winds. If the door is too hard to lift, increase the number of winds. The exact number of winds may be adjusted by adding up to two and a quarter winds or subtracting one half wind as compared to the table in your manual for your door. To finish up, starting on the right side, Tighten the other drum set screw that was not previously tightened before because it wasn't accessible. Then do the same to the remaining left side drum set screw. Your Easy Set Torsion Spring System installation is now complete. If you have the optional spring cover, install it now by following the directions set forth in the installation manual.